I don't know, have you guys seen my peaches and cream bookmarks? Why? Just because you can and you fit. And I'm actually like, I'm going in that section, like, very soon. Alright. We're done last score. I've never canceled on the market. I send them an email, like, apologizing. Obviously, they're still getting $100 out of me. It's like, kind of like a donation, I guess, at this point. <laughs> Day one. Oh, I'm so pretty. Like, you're so sad. Pull it together. Day one of work. And then I have to drop, obviously, Asher off at daycare, which I already know I'm gonna just, like, burst into tears. S like, full of regrets this morning. It'll be okay. It'll be I just have to get over this day. Probably this week. And I'll be okay. I'll be fine. Um, we're packing orders now. And by orders, we have one order. <laughs> I need to get used to doing packing orders in the morning. Uh, just to like make sure everything goes out. Okay, so we have one TikTok order and it is for a Sophie Tumblr charm, um, which is my little cherry. And I don't think that a single person has purchased her until now. Which is strange because she's adorable, but like at the market, I, no one bought her, which is so weird. Because like markets, a lot of different things will sell because you're in a, you know, like you get a ton of sales like on that day or those days. Uh, and then people can see them in person. So I'm really actually shocked that she has not sold at a market until now. I think I just made her maybe two weeks ago. That sounds about right. This is what she looks like. Yadhira, probably way more elegant like pronounced than how I just said it. Um, but she's in Stewart, Florida. Cool, I've never heard of Stewart, Florida before. Normally, Ash and I don't roll out of bed until like between 7.30 and 8. So both of us are gonna need to start going to bed earlier. I'm also feeling a lot of imposter syndrome because I have not done this in a few years <laughs> where I'm just like I hope that it just it just comes back it floods back in of like this is what you're supposed to do and you know there's just certain things that there's protocols for and I don't remember <laughs> I'm gonna have to brush up on some stuff. Hi, I'm Brittany. I was a stay-at-home mom for the last couple years with my son. Um, and I'm a school counselor by profession, I guess. <laughs> and I am going back to it. So, here we are. Here we are, you are with me on day zero slash one. My upper lip's starting to sweat. <laughs> I can't tell if it's because I'm back in the back room because like back here it gets really hot or really cold or if it's because I'm just like um my body temperature's just not regulating because my emotions. <laughs> my next market is in two weeks and it's a night market and I don't know why I did this to myself. Um, I wasn't like thinking they were the same weekend because it switches from August to September but my market after that is a day later um, and it's a two day and so I have three days of markets and <laughs> like, I just don't know what goes through my head sometimes. Mistakes were made this year and it's because I signed up for all these markets before I knew I was going back to work where like it wouldn't have mattered if I was doing this many markets if I was not working because I have so, I have all the time in the world to prep and I, um, yeah, it's just, it's easier. It's, it's easier because I can make doing markets my job, you know? And now I have to like juggle working and, um, uh, being a mom and doing the chunky bee and markets 
and it's just feeling exhausting and I haven't started it. This is day one. I have no idea how this is going to go. I know a lot of people do it where their moms and they're working and they're doing this on the side. I just don't. I don't know. Okay. I'll see you guys later. I'll give you an update after the day and tell you how it went and how much I sobbed. <laughs> It's been four days. I'm tired. I'm so tired. He's tired too. Lordy, the, our whole schedule has to change. Um, and it is exhausting and restructuring my routine has been extremely difficult. <laughs> um, and I haven't even met the kids yet. And so I'm sure like when I actually start doing my job, it's going to be way more exhausting. Why are, why are you whining? He has been the whiniest child I have ever seen. And I know it's because his routine has been adjusted too. And he's obviously not used to going to daycare because I've been at home with him the last years and I'm trying to give him so much grace, but oh my gosh, I am slowly going insane this week and it's just me because my husband does football and so like I'm not a single mom because I do not know those struggles as far as like having finan financially to be dependent or independent and yeah like I, I after this week I don't know how single moms like I just don't know how they function if you're a single mom oh my gosh so much so much brace you I'm going, I'm going insane. I am going insane. <laughs> those are charms. Those are charms. You do not need them. Yeah, those are not for. Hey, Papa, what, what do you need? Help. Help with what? What, Daddy? Help with what? With doggy? Doggy? Yeah. Oh, we don't have a doggy. Do you know where kitties are? Where no. Where are the kitties? No. No, okay. Do you want to go the Y? Yeah. Or do you want to go on a run? Yeah. Do you want to go to the Y or on a run? Yeah. Do you want to go on a walk? Or to the Y. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Obviously not. He was supposed to have speech, and um, she canceled this morning. So, is that Bluey just got on? You want to watch that? Okay, that's fine. actually just stop recording. If any of you want to know how um, my first week of work is going, this is enough of a clip to kind of tell you how the after work life has been. So I'll get on another day. We're going to have to work on this. <laughs> Bye. It's Saturday. We had a full week. If can't talk at all. <laughs> we had a full week of work which means I'm so exhausted and Asher unfortunately is on an earlier schedule now and so he wakes up earlier which means I wake up earlier and Randy had a JV football game he had to go to this morning and so while normally we switch back and forth on one person sleeps in on Saturday and the other sleeps in on Sunday, that's not going to happen this week because I know what he's going to do. He's going to be like, well, I got up earlier than you on today, um, which is true. He got up about half an hour to an hour earlier than me. And so I'm going to have to let him sleep in tomorrow, which means I sleep in zero. <sighs> He'll be okay. We got our first international order. This is going, well this, I don't even have it in my hands. I haven't packaged it yet. I'm gonna do it on video. We're gonna do a TikTok and a YouTube. Uh, 
But she ordered, and by she, I mean, it's not even on here. It's meaty. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. It's M-E-I-D-Y. It sounds like it should be meaty, midi, midi. Maybe the E silent. I don't know, but it's going to Australia. I freaked out for a second because I've never done, like I said, this is my first international order uh, through my small business. Technically, you know what's random is that I used to do a lot of giveaways. I'm so sorry. I will do, I promise I will do, you know what, I should do a giveaway. Not in this video, but I will do a giveaway of a bookmark soon. But flashback, my first giveaway ever, 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 like, 20 not 20 but 2012 um i gave away like a box of makeup like a it was like a bundle of makeup because that's like all my channel was in the beginning it was just like makeup birch box ipsy uh blah 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 so my giveaway winner though was from australia imagine that like my first like time i ever ship anything it was going to australia um, it's expensive to send stuff to Australia, of course, anywhere international is, uh, and yeah. So anyways, I was on Etsy and I was like going to print the shipping label and it didn't offer me to get the label on Etsy and Etsy charged them $20 and something cents. So I'm like, where's the, they always give you like get shipping label, there's a button for it. It was not on there and I'm like but I've never done this before. Maybe I have to go to an external site, like go to USPS externally, not through Etsy, which is the normal route, um, and get the label and then just put the tracking info in. So I go on um, USPS and I go to get a label. The cheapest possible option was $50. Um, and I'm like, like, I would literally lose money on this if I send this out because she spent $20 on shipping and like the order itself was only like, 20 something dollars. I'm like, oh, how, like, I don't want to, I don't want to cancel it, but like, I need to cancel this. And so then I'm like, well, let me check on more sites. I don't want to UPS and it was $150 was the cheapest option. I'm like, oh. And so then I'm like, once before I was on my phone on Etsy and it was a domestic, uh, shipping. Uh, and I couldn't find the button. The button was just like not there. And so when I went on my laptop for that order, the button was there. So I'm like, let me, before I cancel this, try to get on my laptop and go to Etsy site that way. And I went on and it had the button there. So I don't know why it picks and chooses sometimes for like a phone not being able to get a shipping label um, versus a computer. But Regardless, we got it done. I only had to spend $20 and something since what the buyer paid on the shipping label. It is kind of a weird route because how they do it is I send this order to a warehouse and the warehouse uses one of Australia's um, shipping companies and does the rest of the international part. So this goes, this is going to Illinois and then they're putting, I don't know if they're going to, I hope they don't repackage it, but they said they are going to, um, do the packaging for me and like the shipping label for the international part um and so i i'm we're gonna see what happens <laughs> we're gonna see what happens because all i know right now is that this is going to illinois and the rest is taken care of for me so had i used usps it would have been etsy had me quoted at like 60 something and so yeah the numbers don't aren't numbering so hopefully this gets to her uh <laughs> i don't think they would use this if it wasn't like a reliable carrier i don't think etsy would offer that you know what i mean so we'll see you're probably like typing right now like a horror story for me <laughs> so ooh, i have a card that started with an m for another order where their name didn't start with an m and i had just like absolutely gone bonkers and so I can just finish using this one but I didn't want to throw it away because I'm like that's wasteful what did she order let's get it out I hate so the last market I went to I couldn't fit everything I brought into the truck again uh if that tells you that I didn't sell like a ton of stuff <laughs> but I usually have oh I did not know Oliver was right there I usually have my big 
organizer to have all my bookmarks on which is amazing and nice because then I can just go over and pull it off and I can see how many bookmarks I have and how many I need to make for the next market or just like for fulfilling online orders uh, but my mom has it and like she's an hour 15 away so like I I have another market next week so she's gonna keep my stuff I actually need to give her more stuff do I though probably yes I do um because uh, why am I even telling you this? I don't even know. I tell you way too much, TMI. Um, <laughs> I have to go, so then my next market is on a Friday and I work and I'm not obviously taking off for it because um, it should time out exactly from the time I get done with work to going to the market. I should be there right on time. Uh, but I have to take my son to daycare because then his other grandma is going to be picking him up from daycare that day. And so I have to have the car seat in the truck, which is not good because if you know me, I feel it like to the brim. We are like at capacity. And so I can't be at capacity. So either I just need to bring less stuff, which I do. And I always say I do and I never do. So you know what? We are going to do that. We're just not going to bring as much stuff. But the problem here is that it's the opening weekend for college students for my next market. I'm so excited because there's going to be a lot of young ones out there. And um, I think it's going to be a good market. So I don't want to not bring stuff. <sighs> Anyways, point of this story is that I no longer have them there. So now I just have like all my bookmarks in this green bag. And it becomes difficult to find things. They are separated and organized by bags, though, which is helpful. Um, but Meaty, Mindy, ordered a Sophie bookmark, which, that was easy. She's right here. I like to make sure they're laying correctly. Uh, every once in a while, I'll find one. I'm like, I don't love the way you're laying, and then I'll tweak it. Um, okay, and then she has a strawberry and cream bookmark. Not strawberries, peaches. Where my peach at? There you are. Maxwell, what are you doing? I don't know if, have you guys seen my peaches and cream bookmarks? I'm sure you have, I'm sure, I'm sure. So we're gonna pack those up and then I have two stickers out. Oh, just one, I think Asher stole the other one. This cute little scrunchie. And I guess we'll pick another one because I'm not seeing it. We'll do the grow through what you go through sunflower. I am going to, oh my gosh. The fact that he could just wag his tail and then like a fur ball will come out of it. Like long hair kitties problems. Um, I'm gonna go and turn down the music. I, his tail stuck in my tape gun. Baba. Orange Kitty will absolutely uh, be up in my business every single time I have the camera out. It is his like kryptonite. That is at a safe level where he should not get into it again. Okay, throw that away. Do you not, don't. Why? Just cause you can and you fit. And I'm actually, like, I'm going in that section, like, very soon. All right. So we're going to wait a little bit. <laughs> and then I'll turn you guys back on and we'll do some ASMR packaging. always get the worst of the angles um but I think well not I think I do that because you also have YouTube shorts where you get the that like 
better angle. So if you're someone that just like loves ASMR videos, um, my shorts are what you get. I mean, I, these are the best videos because like if you want to like get to know me <laughs> and learn more, but um, if you're just interested in packing order videos, which if you're watching this, that's not the case. Um, watch my shorts. <laughs> All right, I am going to, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to play with Ash um, because we get such little time now together. Um, and then later when my husband gets home, we're going to go to the store and I can drop this off. So stoked about having an international order. I didn't even know I had that capability. I didn't know I had it marked for anything. So I'm going to go through Etsy and like see if everything has that um, option and just make sure it does. And make sure it's not like I'm paying for it. Because if that's the case, then I would definitely have to cancel orders, you know. But um, I think on Etsy I have everything. Unless you spend over 35 But that's only domestic shipping. That would be free. Thank you for being here. And my battery's dying. Perfect timing. I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Good morning. It's not morning at all. Is that not at all? Actually, no, I think it's afternoon now. I don't know. What time is it? 1222. It's afternoon. Um, hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> I am sitting here doing some orders. My mom just got here, so she is playing with Asher, and that means I get a little bit of time to do anything I want. I'm gonna try to convince her to take us to Cools, too. I need a couple of just like plain t-shirts um, to wear with my pants to work. I need like layering pieces because it is so cold. It's like 64 degrees and I can't complain because like if it were hot I'd be miserable. At least with it being cold I can put stuff on but um, I get stuck in like I really want to wear sweaters all the time inside. But then I don't have anything appropriate underneath of the sweaters to take it off when I do bus duty. It's my first year ever doing bus duty. And so like I've been freezing inside in sweaters and then absolutely burning outside in sweaters <laughs> because it's like, it's 90 degrees this week. So, and it's so humid here. Um, you're just like, you're gonna be drenched regardless. At least I am, I'm a very hot person. Okay. What orders do we have? P.S. I am wearing the Palm Creatives Book World Lovers shirt. What is what is it called? Book Lovers World Tour t-shirt. <laughs> My first time wearing it. She's cute. I got it in a size large, which is like perfect. It's like I have bigger hips. And so I wanted something that's not like tight on them. And this size is great. <laughs> I also feel a little bit like a hip hop star with this chain. You've seen this before if you've been on here for a while because I've had it probably like 10 years now and um, it's so heavy, it's so heavy. I used to wear this all the time. I used to wear it all the time. I think it's just like with the t-shirt it might be a little too harsh, I don't know. Um, but it's on me so I'm wearing it. Yes, we have three orders. One is for Amanda in Virginia who bought a strawberry tumbler charm. These are all TikTok. I haven't had a TikTok order in like a week. Rebecca in Michigan bought a Sophie Cherry bookmark and then Lizzie in Massachusetts, 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 no, Massachusetts, M.A. <laughs> got a strawberry coral charm. I don't know why I have two coral charms. I got them like at the exact same time. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if I have a video. I don't think I have any video that like has them in it. So I think I just did a co getting. So let's go ahead and pack up their orders. I had mentioned in the last clip I filmed is that I don't have, um, all my stuff is in a green bag. You'll see in a second. And so I don't have any of it like sitting out for me to even know how low I'm running on stuff which is not great <laughs> and I have not been doing anything as far as making products the last two weeks. I have just been tired going back to work and like the first time in two years and probably like three months. So it's been an adjustment. I do have a tray 
I guess I shouldn't say I've done nothing. I have done a thing. I, I made my volume three night court bookmark and I don't think I've even shown it to you. It's out in the kitchen. Um, and I have a tray of beads to make more of them. And so I did a few pieces. I haven't complete, I have literally one bookmark made and the rest are just kind of in pieces that I need to put together. So there's that. Well, let's go ahead and get these ready and ship them out. They obviously won't start shipping until tomorrow, but they were all placed in the last two hours on TikTok. Okay, the coral tumbler charm. Let's find, this is the green bag I was talking about that you have seen before. I'm running so low on tumbler charms. Like this is all of them that I have in, in all the different varieties. That's, that's not much. Oh, awesome. So I sold two and that's all I have. So I do need to make those cause I'm assuming something, something. I don't know. Why would I get two at the same time unless they were related to something? So yeah, I'm shipping these out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one. I have a white one. Cause at one point it was coral and then I had a girl cause I had this on a keychain, and the girl's like, well, I really like this color. And I was like, but I'm gonna switch them for you. And so I switched them and now I just have a random white one. So at least I can look at this to make these. And this is what the Coral Stanley charm looks like. She's just a cutie little orangey pink and she has a little butterfly attached to her. So we'll keep those out. My packing cart is so messy. I hate it. Okay, we're just gonna use, I got this in my ipsy bag and we're just gonna reuse the materials because i don't want to throw that away because that's a such a good piece of bubble wrap sticker good what is your name lizzie we've been watching a lot of black um blacklist the blacklist like black is in the title and lizzie is the name of one of the main characters <laughs> i'm back on my animal weird animal stickers so she's gonna get an elephant and a rose i'm already super stressed about this weekend's markets because one, I have to go to work with my market stuff all in the truck, like out in the open. Now, granted, I don't think anyone's going to come around to the schools to steal stuff, um, especially with it being right in front of, like the parking lot is literally in front of the doors, like going into the school. And so like, you'd have to be real bold to uh, <laughs> steal while there. So I think what I'm going to do, because we have security officers on our campus that travel between us and the um, K through second grade because like we're right next to each other so um our security officer is always like out and about um so i think i want to try to get there and park in the very front like back it in and so my stuff is literally facing the front doors and that way it'd almost be impossible to steal it right because you you wouldn't even have an area to pull up to to steal it like the stuff in my back where like the back of the trunk of the truck is exposed and so someone could just pop something out and take it easily. But it would just be a lot of work, I feel like. Um, but what I was saying is I'm getting anxious because, um, I don't know if I wanna do packed on YouTube stickers. Yeah, I will, because it is. Uh, I <laughs> signed up, I thought in my mind, I was not like putting it together. Cause I was like September, August. The Friday market's August. The <laughs> Sunday, Monday market is September. Now, clearly August 30th, which is the market on Friday, like it's the same weekend for September. Is that one and two? Something like that uh, market. But yeah, when I signed up, there were two separate like times and I was like, I don't have any September markets. Let me sign up for this one. I mean, it was the same weekend. So anyways, long story, Sh long, um, short story long. <laughs> It's gonna be really, really exhausting. Really exhausting. So I have Saturday off, but I think I'm gonna set up for my 
um, Kettering Market that day so I don't have to get up super early Sunday. I haven't fully figured that out yet. I have done the last six months. I have over made stuff and so I haven't prepped, like I said, I haven't prepped anything between the last two markets, my Cinnabar one and then like these ones coming up because I have so much stuff and so I don't feel I don't feel stressed at all to make anything other than a couple things. Like I want to make some more of my night court bookmarks. Um, and then I need a couple more Stanley charms, but like, I don't know. My Stanley charms normally do really well, but they haven't in the last few markets. Although I haven't done really well the last few markets. So I take that back. Um, we had a really good randomly, like remember the Miami indoor one, the one that it was crazy rainy and then they moved us indoors and we were thinking like oh no one's gonna show up and then like everyone showed up um not really but like everyone that showed up bought stuff basically no complaints there um but i don't think i sold that many stanley charms there i sold a ton of bookmarks probably should have been making bookmarks <laughs> i think i have a feeling uh you can quote me on this but i have a feeling after the Kettering market, I am going to be stressed making bookmarks. When I was editing the first Miami like Red Brick Friday uh, video, which just went up like a couple days ago online, I had completely forgotten about the Chipotle poop incident. Um, and I just like can't get it off my mind now after editing the video, like it's on my mind again. It's been grossing me out. Good vibes only and a little surfer. Last one, we have our cherry bookmark, which has been doing very like consistently well. Um, she sells probably the most lately, whereas it used to be the strawberry bookmark. It's definitely Sophie now. Sophie's my cherry one. Why is her name Sophie? I don't know. She just looked like a Sophie to me. And then the fir very first, very, very first order, like, that bought her was named Sophie. And so like, it's truly like, she was meant to be Sophie. I don't know how many Sophies I have left. I think I need to make more. How many do we have? Shoot. Okay, one, two, I think I only have three or four Sophies. That's not good. She's gonna need, I need to put her out. Actually I do, I have one out to remind myself I need to make them, but I have that obviously is not doing the trick. Sure, she's laying okay and she is beautiful. Um, what I've been doing, and you guys probably know this, but we gotta put her in our cute little bookmark bag. Rebecca's getting a, <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, weird ones um the sun and then this dog wearing a sun hat on the beach <laughs> i have anxiety it's it's here it's within me it will not end probably until september is over with and as you guys know september i have completely exhausted myself in markets but I have not talked about this yet um, because I was really going back and forth with it for a while, um, for months, since knowing that I was going to be working, like since finding out that, and then um, yeah, up until last week, which is when I made the final decision, I have decided to not go to Mustard Seed Market in September. Mustard Seed's a three day. If you guys didn't know, I have one, two, three. So I have three markets, but eight days of markets all in September. So eight days and I'm working full time and I have a two year old son and I have a husband who is a teacher slash football coach. And so I don't, I truly don't see him. Like he is at work every single day other than Sunday. Sundays I see him and he has meetings too. And so um, it's really just on me, like especially during the week, like Asher doesn't see him at all. Like he is 
gone before um, Ash wakes up and he's home after he goes to bed. And so it's just me being mama, like main parent, only parent throughout the week. Um, and I just feel like doing that many market days is selfish, um, but also exhausting for myself. And so I had put $100 down on that market and it was going up to the, like the deadline of I needed to spend, um, like finish paying it off, which was another $274. And I just like, it took me a while. I was like, I, I can't do it. Like the, one, that's money that like I can put towards something else. And two, even though like I'm so sad because Mustard Seed Market has by far been the cutest like experience to be at. Um, well, I'm going to miss the tea trailer. Like I think in the future I would love to try to get into it again um, if I know I'm not going to have other stuff happening during that time. You know, um, like maybe because I didn't get in their winter market. I don't know when their winter market is, but like if it's something where it's like during a school break, like a Thanksgiving or Christmas break, like that would make sense to me to do. Um, and I would love supporting them, but like I just, I, I have to take a step back on this one. So I, um, I send them an email like apologizing. Obviously they're still getting a hundred dollars out of me. It's like kind of like a donation, I guess at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I took that out. Um, but I did replace that week and I, I found a one day market in Oxford that I'm going to do. Um, and it's like a one to six. It's not like a huge long day worth of stuff and it's in Oxford and um I did that because I have so much stuff already prepped that I don't want to because I took out a three-day market have like an abundance of overstock like you know what I mean and plus like Oxford's right next to us mustard seed it was gonna be 12 hours of driving for the weekend because it's two hours away from me versus Oxford's like 25 minutes away from me. You know what I mean? Um, it, it seemed like a no brainer. So basically my goal for the Oxford weekend, I'm going to add a hundred dollars to whatever it is. Cause that's how much I spent not going to mustard seed, you know? Yeah. So I just wanted to throw that in there cause I've never done that before. I've never canceled on a market. 11 days of markets between now and Christmas. I don't know if I'll add any more in there. I'm hoping Oxford comes out with a couple in November or December that I can do. Because I have zero in December. Um, but hopefully online sales will pick up and it just won't matter to me. Like I'm only, so I've been at work two weeks now, but kids have only been there three days. I can't imagine it's going to get easier. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like they're happy right now because they're just coming back to school. Some of them aren't happy. <laughs> but you start getting deeper and more issues pop up as the year goes on, especially the closer to Christmas. So I'm not trying to overwhelm myself. I feel good about what we have now. <laughs> I need to do some breathing exercises. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ask my mom to take us to Kohl's <laughs> to get some shirts. Um, and then... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end this here. My camera notified me I have no more memory card space left. And so I went and uploaded uh, my Ipsy video I just filmed and then deleted it so I could tell you guys goodbye. I think I'm gonna end and end the vlog here. And so um, I don't know if the next one's just gonna go straight via market vlog or if I'm gonna do more prep. Um, but my intuition is telling me it's gonna go straight into a market. So I will see you very, very soon. P.S. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you soon. Bye.